Today I'm going to show you how to add your company logo and how to change the color of your header slash navigation inside of Jura. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to this channel. Drop a like if you get value out of this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comments section below. And if you really do want to help support the channel, make sure you check out the links in the description below. But most importantly, share this video with your Jira administrator, with your teammates, your coworkers, your colleagues, anybody that you know in your life that you know will benefit from having access to hundreds and hundreds of different Jira videos. Share this channel with them and help support the channel. All right, let's jump into today's video. All right, so today we're going to be basically modifying this upper part of Jura just a little bit. We're going to be changing the color and most importantly, we're going to be adding a company logo. Now, you don't have to do any of this, but it does make Jura a little bit more personalized. And let's face it, folks, we always love to personalize our things. So why not add a little bit of flair? The very little that at least Atlassian allows you to do so that you can make your Jira ever so unique. Let's jump into Jira and let me show you how to make these changes. All right, so first you're gonna wanna be a Jira administrator so that you are able to do these changes. You're gonna click on the gear on the top right corner and we're gonna go to system. Once we're in system, on the left hand side, we're looking for look and feel. Once you're there, you're gonna be able to see that we have a logo and then we're going to scroll down a little bit and we're going to do the navigation colors in a second. But let's stick with the logo for now and let's just get that modified first. So they suggest that you have a logo of size 368 pixels wide by 56 pixels high. Now I already have an icon or an image that I can use. Go and basically make sure that you go get that. And if you need to get any approvals, or other things, make sure you get those items basically figured out as well, because some companies need to release images, or maybe you're lucky your company already has like a repository of images, and maybe you can talk to somebody to basically give you the image that fits those dimensions so that it can embed itself really nicely into your journal. Once you have that image, so this is kind of like a, a step zero, if you will, you need to acquire that image. Not getting this far and not having an image is gonna basically be problematic. So you wanna go make sure before you do any of this, that you go get an image so that you can upload it, okay? Assuming you have an image, all you gotta do now is click choose file. This is gonna open up my directory. I'm just gonna pick this pixel here and I'm gonna upload it. You can upload it from a URL. So if you have a logo somewhere else, uh, maybe like uh, one of those websites that you can publicly share uh, images, you can do that as well. Or I'm just gonna upload the file because that's what I have handy and I'm just gonna click on the upload logo. So once you click on that upload logo, it's going to basically go and do it. And now your logo is there. You can always reset it back to the default just in case you don't like it. But you'll notice now, if you zoom in over here in the top left corner, my Jira icon is now replaced with my beautiful, lovely Ape Tech Monkey logo. So this is really, really neat. Not anything that you have to go do, but still a little bit of a personalization to make Jira a little bit more more friendly, if you will, right? Make it stand out a little bit more because now it's personalized to you and your team, to your company, and so you can add a little bit of that pizzazz. Now do keep in mind that this is universal, so this everybody that logs into your Jira is going to see this logo, so make sure that you pick appropriate logo that everybody's gonna enjoy, which is typically your company logo. But you can change it, so if you have different instances, Maybe you have a Jira just for a group of people. You don't have to put a company logo. Maybe you can put that team logo. But keep in mind that this is different than adding or modifying the quote unquote avatar for a project because the projects are specific to just that little project. This is globally. This is happening. Everybody that comes to Jira is not gonna see that logo. Next, let's go talk about how do we change the color of this navigation? Now, why would you wanna change the color? Well, there's really only one reason that I think is worth mentioning. Other than the fact that we're on this topic of personalization and making Jira ever so a little bit more unique for you, one of the biggest things that I can recommend is if you are on Jira Premium and, the big and, and you have a sandbox, you want to change the colors of your navigation so that you avoid 
make sure you're paying attention here. You want to change the colors of your navigation and even your, your logo at the top so that you can avoid confusion when you're toggling between the sandbox and production. It has happened to me more times than I care to count where I am, where I think in the sandbox, making changes in the sandbox, but realistically, I'm actually in my production because let's face it, at last year, sandbox and production URLs are very close together. They're very similar and I can make a mistake very easily. So as an added protection, as just a cautionary little thing that I can do for me and my team, is I can change the color of that navigation, whether I'm doing it here or in the sandbox, they one of them should be different. You don't want them to both be exactly the same because then you're at the mercy of whoever's making changes in Jira to be paying attention to that URL because that's really the only indicator that tells you you're in one instance over the other. So by changing the color, by changing the logo, you can have a very big visual cue and go, oh wait, I am not in the environment that I think I'm in. And so before I make any changes, let me double check to make sure I'm in the right environment. Again, I am telling you and I'm making you this video because I have scars, this has happened to me, I've experienced this. And let me tell you, it is not an experience that I want you to go through. So you'll thank me later when you make this change. So coming back to the video, now that I got off my little soapbox there, you're gonna still be in the system. So you're still gonna be in the gear, you're still gonna be in system, and we're still gonna be under look and feel, but now we're gonna scroll down. We're gonna come down here to navigation colors. And I am just gonna change the background. You can kind of play with this other one for the highlight, but I am just gonna change the background. And I like to make my background, now if I was doing this in the sandbox, I'm not doing it in my sandbox, but if I was doing it in my sandbox, I would make it like a bright red, the brightest red I can do, click on update. And then after a second or two, after you refresh here, you'll notice that your navigation is now a bright red. And again, this is just to let your team know. And I would even go as far as making an announcement banner in the sandbox that says, this is the sandbox. Because again, the reason I'm making this video is I have been burned. I have these scars from making a mistake where I thought I was in the sandbox, but I was really truly in production. It made a pretty big boo-boo. So you don't want to do those boo-boos and you want to make sure that you are very, very clearly distinguishing when you're in the sandbox, playing around, experimenting versus when you're in production, impacting hundreds if not thousands of users. So this is just my little trick up my sleeve that I would share with you that has saved me and my team countless hours, countless headaches, and um, hopefully it goes a long way for you. So that's pretty much it. Once you hit that update button, it will change the navigation. You can always revert back. You can always pick a different color. And if you have any hex values, you can change it to the right hex value of your liking. So maybe you don't want to do it for the reason that I did, which was CYAs. You don't want to help you not make a big mistake, but maybe you just want to add, add your team colors, add your company's colors. And so you can definitely do that by modifying the background and or the highlight. And that's it. You don't have to hit save. You don't have to hit anything else. Once you refresh your screen, it's going to take impact. I'm actually just going to revert this back because this is my production environment and I don't need it to be a bright red, but in my sandbox, you can bet that I do have this in a different color so that I don't make these kinds of mistakes. And that's it for this video. If you did find value and you made it this far and you haven't dropped the like, hit that like button down below. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section. And then finally, if you do really want to do help support the channel, share this video with everybody that you know that could benefit from having access to hundreds of different Jira videos. Not just this video, but I have a wide array of hundreds of videos, over 300 videos, all on the topic of Atlassian. So Jira Confluence and things of that nature, Jira Service Management. So make sure you share it with them because they can really benefit from being able to have access to some really, really good videos, not my words, all the comments from the people, but having access to some really, really good Jira videos that I think they'll enjoy and that I'm sure you're enjoying as well. That's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now.